I'd always had a faith and I grew up in a Christian home, always went to church, went to youth group, went to summer camps. I had my faith, but I had no output for it. I'm kind of like a lot of people in Canton. I grew up in a Christian home, but it was kind of just like a Sunday kind of thing, Wednesday night maybe if my parents got home from work early enough. Me and my friends would just talk about God on and off and I didn't know that much about faith and I didn't like read my Bible a whole bunch. I just believed in Him and went to church. Growing up I didn't really come from a Christian home. My mom believed in God but we never really talked about God and we never really went to church. Uh, I never really grew up in a church. I didn't really start going to church until I moved to Canton in sixth grade and even then uh, it was just like every, every occasional Sunday and then Christmas and Easter. I first heard about Collision from my friend Lexi who I met at youth group at Embrace Church. She started a small group and I got to go with a couple of other people who eventually started Collision with me. My junior year I was a part of a Bible study that met weekly on Monday nights at a girl named Lexi house, Lexi's house in Sioux Falls. She knew what Collision was and she became a leader of Collision. So she really taught us what it was like to lead a group and to get people together and get deep in their faith and grow with each other. As soon as I was a part of that, I knew that I wanted to lead another group and I wanted to spread that to other people. And so she was a great way for us us and Canton to connect with Collision along with Caden Capaldo who I had gone to summer camp with before and he knew John Glasser and brought him to Canton so that we could learn more about Collision and really launch it and start it in Canton. It all kind of started when John asked us to go to, to a Caribou Coffee and talk and we didn't really know what we were going to do and so he just told us to write down names and call them and I was super nervous because I didn't really know what I was doing but he just said like it will be okay. I first got a phone call from Abby and I was kind of, um, well actually I got a text and she said hey can you call me and I was like yeah. So I called her and she started talking about this collision thing and I was like wait hold on what, what even is this and so she like ran me through what all of it was and then she asked me if I wanted to be a leader and I was like um, I don't know if I'm <laughs> really qualified to do that and she was like trying to get me through it and telling me that don't worry you don't have to be like a hundred percent positive in every single thing that um, is in the Bible and I was like Oh, okay. I was like, sure, I'll try it. I got asked to be in Collision with a bunch of other friends who had already been involved in Collision, and they had met with a bunch of guys asking us if we'd want to give it a shot and be leaders of other groups. And uh, I was the only one that uh, decided to do it. I thought I'd just take that leap of faith, because at that time I was uh, really trying to improve on my walk with uh, Christ. So I took that step and uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect, I guess. I just thought it was just like another Bible group. Like I didn't really think it was going to uh, be that big of a deal or anything. But looking back now, it's probably one of the greatest decisions I've made. The One Mission Conference, me and a couple friends went, and we spent most of the day kind of learning about what collision was and what disciple making was and what it meant to be a disciple and all that good stuff. And then we went on a prayer walk and we got to really kind of put into action what it looked like to pray for people and to have God's heart for all people. At the end of the night, there was a guy named Dave, Dave Wagner there and he was really just speaking out to the crowd and he was asking if anyone had the nudge to step out in their faith and come up to him and he would pray over them. And I remember closing my eyes and I was just sitting there and I got up out of my chair out of nowhere and just went up to the front and along with me were a few of my friends and he started praying over it. Then he got to me. He said he saw approval written over my forehead and it was just kind of like an eye opener and I kind of saw what I was putting my identity into and that it wasn't the right things and how I was living for myself and other people rather than living for God. And that has helped me kind of step into collision in a new way. And with me, he just talked about things in my life that I didn't think other people knew about, especially people who didn't know about me. And he just talked about how he saw me 
God saw me as a leader and just different roles he wanted me to play in his kingdom. And it was just really powerful because I'd never experienced something like that before. And I know my friends hadn't either. So we were able to grow a lot through that. And it really motivated us to kind of get Collision going. Um, we had our first worship testimony night, I think in November. And we really had no idea what to expect. We just had it in a little coffee shop and we thought it would just be like 15, 20 people. But it ended up being, I think, almost 50 people packed into a tiny little coffee house, and it was super powerful. The presence of God was definitely there. A lot of people were touched. I had a lot of girls come up to me and just say how they were so grateful that we did it and that they'd never felt God like that before. Our second one was just as amazing. We had it at a little church in Canton, and we had about the same kind of a turnout, and it was super powerful because we spent time praying over people, which is something that we hadn't really focused on before. I was just really touched by everything that was happening. Through Collision, I feel like God has used me just to reach into the people that I don't normally talk to or hadn't met before Collision and just teach them about my faith and help them grow in theirs. And it's just been like crazy to see the testimonies coming out of Collision and see the growth coming. Collision has um, helped me to step out of my comfort zone a lot. Um, just speaking in front of people and praying over people, talking to people, sharing my testimony. I've learned a lot and gotten a lot more comfortable um, with talking about God and starting um, spiritual conversations. For me now, it's uh, become normal and I'm not awkwardly trying to bring it up or anything. Collision being in our school has really allowed a lot of us to really grow in depth with our faith and then for those that didn't have faith it allowed them to you know establish one and I feel like God is just honored in our school more now than he's ever been just because people are more comfortable talking about him and then they feel more inclined to live a life that honors him and reflects him. A lot of us seniors have really had it on our hearts to just kind of leave a legacy at Canton and I think for a lot of us we weren't sure where that legacy was going to come from because we're in a lot of activities. But this year we've really realized that Collision is our legacy because we aren't just showing up or putting events on or playing in a sport, but we're really like changing people's hearts. We are Canton, we are Collision.